Hello fellow tacos and welcome to the weekly War Thunder recap. I am your host, Bull Blood MX, and this week has been an interesting one for sure with some controversy. Before we start, please remember to subscribe. It keeps me motivated to keep making these types of videos for you guys. And don't forget to enter in the 5000 GE giveaway, more on that later. Now let's get on to the news. On Wednesday, December 29, 2021, Gaijin released another It's Fixed devlog where they focused on bugs spanning tanks, planes, and naval. I'm not going to go into detail about all the changes, but only the ones that caught my eye. If you want to read all the changes, like always, you can pause the video and read at your own pace. For tanks, the TOW 2B got a bug fix where it can now do damage on slow parts of armor. For planes, the F2G1 got a change where each gun got an increase of ammo, going from 300 rounds per gun to 600 rounds. The Chinese F100 got a radar warning receiver system, and the AIM-9Js and Ps got an increased G-load from 4Gs to 7Gs. For naval, it just mostly revolved around changes to shells and AI fixes. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Players felt that they were scammed by Gaijin, and I covered this controversy in a different video. On December 30th, 2021, there has been an update to all of this controversy, so all the players that were indebted to Gaijin by redeeming the link have been forgiven and no longer owe Gaijin a day of premium or 1.21 United States dollars. Members took their concerns to the forums and were asking about their indebted accounts. Gromboini, a member of the store team, answered saying, The game bans you automatically for negative GE balance not for negative premium time. So this will not be any issue in any case. Those players who claimed the bonuses on December 27th, a day before the bug in question was reported and fixed on December 28th, were given one day of premium time simultaneously with removal of ineligible seven days. So everybody should be back at zero, provided they had no PA to start with. That's not the case, work it out with the support team. Well, I'm glad that this situation was fixed as soon as possible, it sucked that it happened in the first place and, and lowers Gaijin's reputation even further in the community's eyes. Also, I want to say that somebody accused me of my previous video adding fuel to the fire because I hadn't reported that Gaijin had forgiven the debt and gave players their one day of premium back. I just want to say that I don't push a button on a magical machine and a new video comes out the minute it is uploaded. It takes me time to write what I want to say and animate these types of videos. That video when I recorded was on the day that it happened and there was no update to the whole situation. But by the time the video came out the next morning, they had forgiven the debt, giving me no chance to correct the inaccurate information that I had presented to you guys. So if a video comes out and it doesn't have the most updated information, it's because it wasn't available to me at the time. It's that simple. Well, that does it for this week of news. Now, the 5000 GE giveaway. As of right now, I am two subscribers away from reaching 200. Once I hit that number, I, be, I will be doing a random draw of who gets the 5000 GE. How do you enter? You enter the Discord via the link in the description. And when you enter the channel called Recruit General, ping me, Full Blood MX, and say Full Blood MX 200. Exactly like that and will be entered in a drawing of GE. For current subscribers or people who are currently in the Discord, just ping me in general chat and just say full blood MX 200. That will let me know that you guys are interested in the giveaway. With that out of the way, please remember to subscribe and I wish you all luck. Adios.